Let's move now to Iran, where an unprecedented wave of protests is entering a fourth week and showing no signs of slowing, sparked by a young woman's death following her arrest by the nation's morality police. It was another weekend of unrest and clashes between demonstrators and security forces. NBC's Ali Aruzi is right there in Tehran with the very latest. Hey, Ali, good morning. Good morning, Hoda. Well, I can tell you that the outrage, the emotion, the anger in Iran is still very raw. The protests are not really showing any signs of ebbing as they now enter their fourth week. Protests and violence continue to flare. Over the weekend, protesters throughout the capital and other cities erupting into anti-government slogans. On Saturday night, the flagship news program on Iran's state broadcaster apparently hacked. On Sunday, at a university in Tehran, students painted their hands red in a show of solidarity for students that have been arrested or injured since the unrest began. The demonstrations are being led by fearless, determined young Iranians, much of the time women. Even schoolgirls are joining in on the streets, on campuses, and even in the schoolyard. The U.S. State Department sending a strong message to Iran. We continue to have uh, tools in our tool belt to hold uh, the Iranian regime accountable. The women are facing off with security forces and continuously challenging the compulsory hijab, boldly waving it in the air on the streets, weaving through traffic while being supported by the endless honking of car horns and the rally cry of these protests, woman, life, freedom. Still seething not only over the death of Massa Amini, who died after being arrested by the feared morality police, but also now focusing on the deaths of two other girls, authorities deny involvement in their deaths. Kurdish human rights group Hengao say at least two people were killed over the weekend. Authorities deny any involvement. The scope, scale and duration of these protests not just catching the government off guard, but rocking their foundations. Hoda, no one knows how or when all this will end, but authorities are determined to finish it. Iran's deputy interior minister warning that from now on, those who are arrested in the riots will stay in jail until their trial. They'll be rapidly prosecuted and their sentences will be decisive as to, to send a deterrent out to other would-be protesters. Hoda? Well, inspiring to see all those young girls out there on the streets. Uh, Ali Aruzi for us in Tehran. Ali, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.